This video is presented by EA and the EA Game Changers Network. What's going on guys, Robski back with another NBA Live mobile video and this time we are checking out the playoff round two uh, underdog campaign. Uh, it it's, looks like a really, really good campaign uh, and it's gonna feature a lot of players that a lot of fans have been asking for and a, and a few little differences um, in the players when it comes to the ability. So let's check out the actual campaign. So it is another milestone campaign. And as you can see on here, so we have three blitz events um, with the first one giving you 50 and plus 150 for the first win. The second one is 100 with plus 300 on the first win. And the third one is just 150. You don't get any first wins on the third one, which is kind of weird to me. Um, but yeah, you also get these uh, these little milestone on top, not milestone, sort of like uh, moments that happen within the first round. So here it says uh, Clippers came back from a 31 point deficit in game two to beat the Warriors in Oakland. So these will unlock uh, throughout the different days and you'll be able to play them all whether they you know whether they first go live or if you decide to let them all go live and then just play it all at the same time right then and there but the good thing is that you get 500 on each so you get 1000 2000 3000 4000 um, just from doing those little moments there um, and then down here it says where to earn underdog points you can do uh, showdown uh, you can do seasons as well as league versus league to get the showdowns um, and then the three players that are featured you can see there is point guard Kyrie Irving uh, we have center we have uh, small forward Jimmy Butler and then we have center Nikola uh, Jokic uh, which are really 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 good cards uh, Kyrie Irving is this one is pretty much fan service to a lot of people every single time NBA Live Mobile was either on the, the subreddit or on Twitter. Yeah, we got a lot of point guards, but Kyrie is the one that a lot of people have been asking for. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be going for it. So down at the bottom here, you can see the milestone list. So once again, I am on the EA account and I went ahead and kind of just completed it um you can see how much the nba cash we have up there this is just for this isn't my account i don't get to keep these cards this is strictly just to show you guys um what you get so on the first one you get a jersey booster where you get a city edition jersey that gives you a boost um when active towards uh the blitz tokens for it um here you get a 95 player select and then we have our first platinum uh, boost item so stuff the magic dragon gives you uh, two skill boosts and two reward boosts so you have scoring with contact passing accuracy and then coins and xp uh, you also have uh, coin quick cells which are great uh, once you pass a certain point you're only going to start getting a hundred thousand of those you have 20 uh, elite league tokens which i actually do like because the boomer bus packs that they've been releasing have been actually really well and a lot of people have been getting a really really cool items from it and yeah so this promo what makes it different is that you can actually choose the master you want so the master uh so actually we'll get back into those so you do get this 100 player overall underdog elite player which is interesting because it's it's 100 overall so it's a platinum but it says elite player but anyway uh we'll get back to those specific 100s in just a sec and this one right here, you get a pick of your 103 overall playoffs master. So with that, you get to choose between Jokic, Butler, or Kyrie. Um, and then you move forward and then you have your underdog tokens that actually give you the ability. So the player you get won't have the ability, uh, but with that token, obviously you can go ahead and give them the ability. And then moving forward, the second platinum boost item is uh, Boomer which gives you stealing and on-ball defense and then reward boost of rep and fans. Now, uh, in all honesty, I'm not exactly sure uh, how many of these you can actually get if you do grind. I know a couple of people out there have already done uh, lists and you know free to play guides and everything. So if you guys know of any of those, please link it down in the comment section. Uh, pay attention to the subreddit. Um, I know other couple of YouTubers really really pay attention on how many points you can rack up and secret ways of points racking up per day so make sure to take advantage of that and use all of your boosts um, for that the store actually gives you 
Um, let's go into playoffs here. So you are able to purchase uh, underdog points with coins. So it's 35,000 for three of them and you get 1,500. So definitely if you have the coins, make sure to purchase that every single day. If you wanna spend money, you can obviously do 250 NBA cash for 500 points or 2,500 for 5,000. You also have this uh, uh, booster select. So it gives you for, I know on the US for us, it's $60. I think just because they're located in Vancouver, it's 7246 here. Uh, but you are able to choose a 102 overall player. Uh, I heard the Kawhi Leonard is probably the one to go with, but it gives you 50% boost to underdog points, which are great. And you also have another pack here to purchase um, arenas. So let's actually take a look at the team here. So we have Boomer and you can obviously see how the stats work out. Uh, Stuff the Magic Dragon. You can see, you know, how much players are needed in order to get the boost for that. Absolutely love that the Platinum Boost item gives you two and two. I think that those are dope. Um, now the arena, I believe it was uh, 1500 uh, NBA cash. Um, the reason I can't show you guys is because I actually recorded all of this previously and lost the footage. So you're seeing what I what I chose. Um, there is also another option in the store to purchase a second jersey. So right here we're actually getting. Let me see. Am I getting? Um, okay, so I don't have it on here, but I do have it on my main account. You are able to purchase a second city jersey for another 10% underdog points. So you can see I have the Brooklyn Nets jersey on here. So yeah, so you'll be getting 20% extra from the jerseys and then 15% on the court. So the court um, that I chose was the Oracle Arena. Um, so it gives you all the courts are going to give you 50%, 15% no matter what. So, you know, there you go for that. So that's something that you're really gonna need. Now, let's take a look at Kyrie here. So Kyrie has plus three dribble to the team. And then when submitted in the sets, we'll actually give you with that token. It'll give you this new clutch item. Now, it's weird because it says two clutch. Now, we'll go into sort of like a seasons mode game and um, figure this out. So my thing with this clutch is it's not a three point clutch, it's a two point clutch. So the indicator is going to be inside rather than on the three point line or behind the, the line. And the difference with this one is that it generates a lot faster, the bar. So you'll actually be able within a regular, you know, uh, showdown uh, quarter or seasons, you'll actually be able to pull off two of these clutches, giving you four points, which it is one point extra and I know three pointers are what you need. My my only gripe with this and we'll show it here is that the indicator is very, very small and tight. And, and if you run past it, you know, just kind of scooting back is a pain. Um, so but guarantee two points. I really wish um, he would do three. But this is also something different to kind of keep clutch a little bit differently. I, I personally wanted to see some differences with um, the abilities. So I'm glad they're at least experimenting with a two point clutch with a faster bar to maybe give you two times clutch because, you know, depending on how you're playing, sometimes with a three point clutch, you can only activate it once. So that's really cool. And as you can see there, the Kyrie Irving stats for him on there. Uh, he's boosted up um, pretty much. And then we got Jimmy Butler. So he has plus three on ball to the entire team, uh, 102 mid range, 101 three point, 100 inside paint, 101 block, 102 steal, 102 on ball defense, 100 ability, 100 dunking. The Jimmy Butler card is in, looks like an absolute beast. Um, I just won't be getting him on my personal one. And then Jokic here, we have plus three pass to the team and in the paint for the center. Uh, blocking is 96 agility Th this is what I don't understand uh, Jokic has a hundred agility but 81 speed someone tell me what's wrong with that uh, but we got 102 rebounding 100 scoring with contact 98 post 98 dunking uh, definitely a center as I mentioned before in other videos centers are really tough to get a lot of people want the the, the 101 Shaq and he's pretty much nowhere to be found on the auction house so um, if you're in the if you need a center, Jokic, if you can try to get two masters from this event, um, definitely try to go for Jokic if you need the center and then either Jimmy Butler or Kyrie Irving. 
um, and then now we're gonna talk about the those 100 player selects that were in uh, the milestones now uh, here's a photo it should be up now on the screen of all the players that you can choose um, throughout the entire milestone you only get uh, uh, two options of the 100 uh, pick now the, the thing with this one is these are playoff player up players yeah try to say that three times fast if the players team makes it to the conference finals and they will be upgraded to a 103 overall player so there it, you're literally just choosing and kind of like betting and hopefully uh hopefully wishing that that team makes it into the conference finals because you'll automatically get a 103 overall now this is where and i chose gordon hayward here and i chose uh fred van vliet fred van vliet yeah okay um which actually is is a, a pretty good card for once again it's a point guard um but a lot of people have actually been saying that if you open up the 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 court the choice pack wow i can't even speak if you open up the quit the pick pack and close out the game the pack will actually sit in your view all items and once the team makes it into the finals you can reopen that and then choose the player that made it to the finals for your free 103. don't quote me on that i don't exactly know if that's going to actually work um but i'm gonna try it on my main account and see if you know you can get yourself the automatic 103 without having to choose the player now and then deciding later on all right so those are pretty much the masters we're gonna go ahead into a quick match here so i can show you guys um the clutch move here now in the paint we already know um and this isn't a player review of any sort i just want you guys to kind of get a look at the two-point clutch so we're gonna go with hopefully we can get this steal let's see okay so jamal murray is gonna run that down i right, said so Jokic got it so Jimmy Butler already has the clutch, so you can kind of see it there. That indicator is super small. Um, you can actually run by it and hit the clutch button, and he kind of, you know, just takes a shot outside of the of the indicator. But that indicator is really, really tiny. It's super tight. I really wish it would just expand a little bit just to give us enough room to kind of go around. But if you're within the vicinity, like in it, you can probably do a step back move. Let's get that steal. All right. Um, who else can we pass it to? We already did Butler. We're going to go ahead and all right. So his clutch, Kyrie Irving's clutch is almost there. So we're going to try and just go in it for a layup. All right. There we go. We got the layup, 98 layup on Kyrie Irving. And then we're going to go and try and see if we can get the two-point clutch. Nope. So the ball's out of bounds. We're going to see we got 57 seconds left. I wonder if Jimmy Butler has his um, clutch ability again. We're going to go with Kyrie, Jokic. We got Butler. Let's see. Uh, all right. So Jokic. Nope. So we got Sean Kemp, Kyrie Irving. Does Kyrie have it? Yep. So Kyrie has it. And it's a little bit different. You can kind of see on the side there. So this indicator is actually uh, much larger than the ones that are just like inside near the paint. Um, but yeah. There we go. Clutch two. Then we go Kyrie. And yeah. So there we go. So we got Sean Kemp. And then we're going to do Kyrie again. We're going to see if Jimmy Butler got his. Uh, yep, Jimmy Butler is here. We're going to go ahead and try to shoot. So, yeah, so if you actually keep on playing, if you get the possession back to Jimmy Butler, we should be able to kind of um, be able to shoot again with his clutch two-pointer. We're going to go to Jimmy Butler. Let me see. Hopefully, we can block. All right, so we're going to block it. We're going to get the ball from Kyrie. Kyrie up for the block. Jokic. So, Jokic has his does butler has it yep so jimmy butler has it but that's the thing it's the positioning and having to get back into that indicator to get that second clutch point off um that i'm just not a fan of because yeah once you surpass and try to move back the player just slows down um but if you guys can maneuver it and you guys can pull it off it's definitely 
something to you know um kind of make the game a little bit different especially with this so late into the game and they were approaching off season so there you guys got it uh, that is the playoff campaign of the underdogs uh, with the three masters let me know which master you're going to be going for um, in the comment section below uh, once again if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next video